everyone. I've got a small unboxing to do. Um, it's a game called Root Film and I will get the cellophane off in a jiffy so we don't have that horrible reflection. Uh, the game itself came separately for reasons unknown to me except uh, they obviously couldn't fit it in the box um, so I'll just get the um, the wrap off this one now what is root film it is a sequel of sorts to the original root letter so let's just check uh, the game case inside and as usual these days it's just a disc and nothing else as you can see from the picture on the front it indicates a, a setup where we're probably dealing with a film being made set within a story where a film production is occurring and this is the um, reverse side and I'm looking at it upside down but I imagine those will be the main characters featured in the story. I ordered this uh, from the UK I think that was the only way you could get this particular edition from fun stock. So we'll dig into the cellophane. I'll just explain what root film is because technically it's a sequel. And it's a sequel to the original root letter. This is one of my favorite visual novels because it takes you so convincingly and immersively um, inside a Japanese life in a, in a region that doesn't feature very often in video games. It, it's set in the Shimane prefecture and I was completely enraptured with it really. It's so beautifully presented and the situations of everyday life uh, of the various characters is done so convincingly that uh, I was just wrapped up in it. I couldn't put it down. Now this came out originally in 2016, so quite a while ago. Uh, it was later ported to the PS4 in a slightly updated version as well. So Having played the Vita game, uh, I then played the PS4 version uh, called Subtitled Last Answer, I think. I played it together with Poodle Pan. We really, really enjoyed it. So much so that I decided to get the um, Root Letter Premium Edition. I think it's also sometimes called the Pen Pen Pal edition, I'm not quite sure. And that comes separately from the game and includes just a few goodies. And it's really nice. And if you can pick it up somewhere, I picked it up for a you know discounted price. It is really nice to have. One reason is the original soundtrack, which is absolutely beautiful. And I can heartily recommend that. You probably can't see much. There's a very dark background. But yes, and it comes with, um, you know, a little set of paper for letter writing. A portrait of um, the main female protagonist in the game whom you don't see most of the time but she's very important she's called Aya and then you get an art book Which 
is very nicely done. With a bit of background information as well. So I think for anyone who is a fan of root letter, uh, this is a very nice little extra to have. And I'm very glad we decided to get it. So that is the precursor to root film. However, root film is a completely separate standalone story. You don't have to play root letter first if you want to play root film. The only shared theme is that it is also set again in Shimano Prefecture and the male protagonist uh, carries the same name as in Root Letter, he's called Max, but, but that's all as far as I know. And it's billed as an adventure visual novel, uh, so there'll presumably be some kind of sleuthing detective work involved. So that was the back of the box. And this appears to be a soft back art book. And as you can see from the contents page, it covers character scenes, environments, and key art. And I'll just give you a quick flavor. And here we have a character named Rintaro. You all know another very famous visual novel, very, very famous, with a character named Rintaro. So there's quite a cast of characters here, as you would expect if the set is a, a film production. And here are some scenes taken from the game. Giving you a pretty good impression of the, the visual style of the presentation. And here is a sample of the environments. Of course, in the end, however good it may look, a visual novel always stands or falls by the quality of its story. But just like in Root Letter, I like the way that the environments are very realistically presented. You feel like you could walk into one of those pictures and it would be a real life location. So uh, this is the first time I have ever had a limited edition where you get a box and the only item inside is a soft cover art book on a foam pad. For some reason they saw fit or there's some kind of regulation because several limited editions have done this now to not fit the game inside. Now couldn't they have at least set aside a few pennies or pounds to maybe provide some other small item, even just a keychain something like that, a little bit extra something. I mean, the box is nicely done. It's very presentable. Uh, I'm not quibbling about the quality. The art book is also uh, well produced, but I don't call this, to be quite honest, 
I wouldn't call this a true limited edition. Uh, this is a day one edition with a generous soft cover art book. And they spruced it up a bit with a box, but I would have expected at least one other item in there, however small. Um, so that's a bit of a surprise. Uh, when you compare it with something like the root letter, fairly small premium edition, uh, which does not include the game, but has some really, really nice items. And I don't remember spending a lot of money on that at all. Whereas this one, I honestly can't remember the price, but I would say that I'm a bit surprised, yeah. There we are. It's not often that you see food for dogs speechless. We know, of course, that recently in the last one to two years, a lot of companies have struggled to put together limited editions. I'm well aware of it. And in particular in Europe, it has been very difficult. And we have seen prices go up for limited editions. Or sometimes if they've been able to hold the price, they've had to reduce the items or the quality of the items in the limited editions. We've seen all that. Anyhow, whatever the issues, it will not quell my enthusiasm for Shimane Prefecture and for the stories set in that lovely location. I will start diving into Root Film quite soon, and I am pretty certain that Poodle Pa will join me on that journey. Would I be right in that? Yes, I see a nod. I see a nod coming from behind the camera. With that note, I thank you very much for watching. As always, please keep well. I'm Food for Dogs. Bye-bye. Thank you.